Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will study about various types of list. We can also create list in HTML. There are various types of list like a order list, unordered list and data definition list. So, we will utilize this list in this program. So, let's see first unordered list. Every list contains li tag. So, for creating list, we need a li tag and for order list, unordered list and data definition list, upper level tag is ol, ul or dd. So, let's see first unordered list. To create unordered list, ul tag is used. So, first write ul tag and complete ul tag. In between ul tag, we have to write li for list item. Now, in unordered list, we can give special list marks like a circle, disk and square. These marks are used in list. For example, if, if you want to give the list by circle, then we have to pass here type is equal to in double quotation circle. Now let's add item into the list. We are adding Java we must have to complete list item we are adding one more list item in our list we are completing list item tag we are going to run we can see the output is displayed by circle so by this way we can utilize this list now let's change this by square or disk and see what is the effect we are changing this by square save it we can see the list mark is changed by square so this way we can utilize this list now we are going to see another list which is order list order list can be created using ol tag means order list this is the abbreviation of order list now what is the difference between ol and ul? When there is no order in the list, then unordered list is used. And when we want to give order like 1, 2, 3, 4 or a, b, c or roman alphabet 1, 2, 3, then we can use order list. So, we want to give type is equal to a. So, this order list will be created using mark a, b, c in small letters now we want to give here java save let's check output we can see the order is given automatically by browser this is interpretation by browser now let's change the mark options or type options we are changing by capital then list will be given capital ordering we can see what is the effect. If we want to start the list by someone other number, for example, I want to start this list from third order, then I have to pass start attribute using value. So I have passed start is equal to 3. So this list will now start with 3. We can see the list starting is from 3 and further 4. We have seen two types of list. One is the order list and another is the unordered list. Now is the definition list. For creating definition list, DL tag is used. When, when definition list is used, when we want to create list like some uh, list of definition, then we can use this data definition list. So, let's create data definition list. For creating data definition list, DL means data definition list tag is used. Now we are ending the definition list. Now, first we have to give data type. What is to be defined? We have to put in dt tag. So, dt tag is the data type. Now, we are putting here Java. Now, what is the definition of Java? So, for that, dt tag is used. Same way, we are putting another definition also. Now, let's check the output for data definition. We can see the definition automatically is adjusted by some space 
so this is the use of definition list we have seen order list unordered list and data definition list now onwards we can utilize this concept in our other programs thank you